Hello everybody, welcome to a new video tutorial. In this case, it's a tutorial in Stata where many people has asked me about how to shade the area of the confidence bands in the forecasts. And that is something very simple to do. So this is a very short video where I'm just going to show you how you can shade the areas of the forecast, the area of the confidence bands. I'm gonna show you um, in my do file what it looks like the original forecast code and you can see that normally this is just the way we would display the forecasts just the bands with some dotted lines there's no shaded area in this case but if you wanted to do that that's something very simple that we can do in simple steps now this is going to be done on a on a model that i have already forecasted before is an R, it's an R model that we forecast for the prices of oil. You can buy the material if you are interested in, you're gonna get the do file with with all the um, all the complete code to produce the forecasts. But now let's go back into Stata and let's uh, cover how to shade the area of the confidence bands. Now in the software, we are going to go into graphics, two-way graph, we're gonna create a plot. It's going to be line plot. The Y variable is gonna be my series oil growth. The X variable is gonna be the years and line properties will should leave it as is for now. Now the next thing we need to do is create a second portion. It's gonna be the forecast. It's called forecast one growth. And on the X variable, we'll keep here years we're going to go into line properties and I would like this to be the pattern I want it in dash. Here we'll leave it as default. The color we can probably select, um, let's say medium blue, accept and that's fine. Now to create the, the range area, we're going to go into create. Now range plots, range area, and we have to select between which variables this has to be. It has to be between the upper bound, lower bound. This will stay the same, our time variable. In area properties, we're gonna select fill color, light bluish gray for now is good. Fill opacity, we can select this to be, for example, 60. We don't want this to be a hundred because otherwise you're not going to see what's inside the area. Then we can select the outline color. We can select, for example, bluish gray. Let's just go with that. Outline width. We can select thin, accept, and see what this creates. And there we go. We actually created a different version to what we initially did. And I actually like this one better. So this is basically the way that you are going to be shading the area of your forecast. The next thing that you can do is basically copy this portion of the line. We're going to go into our do file and we're going to be replacing on here. We're going to replace with a new code. There we go. And now let's run this code again. And here we go. We get all the same format, but now you're getting the forecast with the shaded area. So I hope you liked this video. Like I said, it's a very straightforward, short video, just to show you how you can shade your confidence bands in your forecasts. And remember, you can um, watch the other tutorial to learn how to produce the R forecast. And also you can buy the material. I'll make sure that in the do file, I include um, how to shade the areas. For those who already bought this package in the past, I'm gonna send you an email with the new do file that includes how to shade the confidence bands. So remember to subscribe to the channel, give it a like, leave your comment if you liked this tutorial, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.